Welcome to the TubeBuddy Express podcast, brought to you by TubeBuddy, the number one tool to make your YouTube life easy. Each week, we discuss how you can utilize TubeBuddy to enhance your YouTube experience and make your life as a creator easier. And now, here's your host, Dusty Porter. Hello and welcome back to episode 84 of the TubeBuddy Express podcast. My name is Dusty. We're here on the TubeBuddy Express feed. We bring you an actionable 8 to 10 minute YouTube or online video tip each and every week to help you move your message forward, allow you to grow your YouTube channel, and overall just improve your online video presence. And so again, as I just said, my name is Dusty. So let's go ahead and jump into this week's topic. But before we do, as you can probably tell uh, by the title of this podcast, Podcast. Uh, we are brought to you every week by TubeBuddy. If you click that link in the show notes, you will be navigated to where you can download the free browser plugin. And uh, once you start utilizing all of the amazing features, you will definitely be convinced to purchase the paid version, which has helped me grow my YouTube channel faster than ever before. We now have a mobile app over on the TubeBuddy side of things. It helps me, allows me to monitor things much quicker on the go. Definitely, if you haven't already, check that out. Also, don't forget to subscribe, whether you're listening listening on iTunes, Google Play, Stitcher Radio. We'd love to have you as a regular listener. So let's go ahead and dive into this week's topic. So this week, we're talking about uh, the new announcement from YouTube on the 7th of March, so a little over a week and a half ago, about basically they're going to bring us some new metrics in the YouTube analytics section. Now, this isn't rolled out to everyone yet. Uh, within the next couple of weeks, it will be. So I wanted to get ahead of it, talk about what they're releasing to us, and then talking about kind of how we can utilize it to grow and improve our channel. So uh, the, basically, let me lay it out to you guys. So they're, they're giving us a few new metrics. They're giving us impressions, which, man, I have been wanting this for a long time. So basically, an impression is counted whenever a viewer on YouTube sees one of your video thumbnails, not necessarily clicks. Now, when they click and view it, that counts as a view. An impression is just when it shows up in search when someone searches for a specific keyword or key phrase. So understand that. It's just impressions generated from your th thumbnail being visible. Visible? What? From your thumbnail being visible. That's it. All right. Next is impressions click-through rate. Oh, my goodness. This is amazing. Uh, so websites uh, forever has have had this, you know, if you use Squarespace or WordPress, you use Google Analytics, whatever you're utilizing. So basically, this shows you the percentage of your impressions on YouTube that turned into views. So we just spoke on impressions are only when people are searching and see your thumbnail. Now, the CTR or impressions click through rate, which is what I'm talking about now, shows you the percentage of people who are seeing your thumbnail and then boom, they're clicking on it. Think of the the amazing data you can get from, oh, well, this thumbnail on this video and this title is performing like 10% better than this set of videos. That's going to tell you, uh-oh, I did something right with these videos. What did I do different here than I did there? Kind of allows you to do your own A-B testing like I do a lot of times with the TubeBuddy A-B testing thumbnail tool, uh, which, by the way, you're going to be able to use way more now that you know this data. And then lastly, the third new metric is unique viewers. Now, this one is a cool one. So unique viewers shows the estimated number of different people who watch your videos, videos over a period of time. So whether they watch on a desktop, mobile phone, whatever device it is, basically it allows you to get this data to compare your audience size to your subscriber base. Now, a channel like mine will have a lot of unique viewers, uh, whereas a vlogger or someone who is building a more tight-knit community who has a better subscriber-to-viewer ratio, their unique viewers are going to be probably a little less. So this data will allow you to compare your audience size to your subscriber base, like I mentioned, uh, and it's really going to help you kind of see where you're at, how many new viewers you're getting, how many of those new viewers are you basically changing or converting into subscribers. It's, be, it's becoming very apparent to me that YouTube is going to, uh, you know, leave all the ad apocalypse and all of that stuff out of the way. It has really come apparent to me as a creator that YouTube is really trying to make an effort to provide us, the creators, the people, the backbone of the platform. They're going to give us as many tools as possible to basically inform us on how we can better ourselves and better our channel. 
So understand that when it comes to a YouTube channel, utilizing these little neat, these little niche metrics can really help you. So let's talk for a second here about impressions and about impression click through rates. So let's just say, hypothetically speaking, I release a video and I released one yesterday and within a 48 hour time frame, I can go in there and see that I got over 20,000 impressions, but the click through rate for those impressions was like six or 7%. So it's going to let me know that number one, okay, the title and the SEO stuff is working fairly good, but why aren't these people clicking? And so the only answer to that is going to be, you know, one of two things, either one, it's because they, you know, obviously found another video or they just, they, they're one of those people who are going to click on the top result or second, more importantly, maybe your thumbnail didn't pop as much as you thought that it did. So the, the, your video is ranking really well. It's coming up. It's getting impressions on YouTube, but the click through rate is abysmal. And so I want you guys to think about that, like how you can utilize this. Now, I already know what I'm going to do every month at the end of the month. I am going to go into this. I'm going to go to some of my most popular videos that month, uh, rather new videos. And I'm going to see what I did with the thumbnails. I'm going to see what I did with the SEO. I'm going to see what I did with all of that stuff that has helped my video rank high. I'm going to keep all of that, but then I may, if the impressions and the click through rates are very low, then I may even go in and change that thumbnail. Oh, that's a thought that you guys, again, think about this. It will allow you to say, oh man, this video has got great evergreen content. It's wonderful. It can be good for years to come, but it's getting a lot of impressions. It's just not getting clicked on. So maybe I change the thumbnail to one of my videos, st the style of thumbnail that has a really good click through rate. So the, the data on this is going to be absolutely astonishing. So I want you guys to kind of uh, get your brains turning on this and kind of see what you can do to utilize these new metrics. And lastly, I want to dive a little bit into unique viewers. Now, the first thing that came to my mind uh, is, is sponsors. So sponsors, you know, and, and when it comes to working with companies, they want to know not necessarily how many views you get, because a lot of those views may just be people over and over again, same people, subscribers, subscribers. But what companies and brands want to know, uh, hey, can you tell me how many unique viewers you get in a month? How many unique viewers does your channel get? Let's say they want to run a four video uh, sponsored video where basically uh, it's, you know, Squarespace comes in and they're like, hey, we want to sponsor a, a set of four videos for you as a creator. And you're like, oh man, that's great. But they're like, but listen, before we can, can tell you how much we can pay you for this, I need to know not how many subscribers you have, not how many views you have, how many unique viewers do you have in a 30 day period? And you can go to your analytics and you can say, okay, I've got a, a unique viewer count of around four or 500,000 in a month. And for them, that's amazing. It's very similar to podcasting. So for me, when sponsors approach me, which I'm at the point now to where they do, they say, listen, how many unique downloads? They don't want to know how many subscribers I have, which by the way, podcasting analytics are absolutely horrendous, but they don't come to me and say, how many subscribers do you have? Yada, yada. They want to know how many unique downloads do I get in a 30 day period? And for my other show, I mean, that's seriously almost around, I'd say three to 400,000 unique downloads per month now. Uh, and for this show, it's getting upwards of 10, 12,000 a month. And so again, it's one of those things to where it just gives you another metric or another data point to be able to put in your kit or to put into your pitch that allows you to say, listen, uh, I'm getting uh, this X amount of unique viewers. That is valuable. That's valuable to a company that could be valuable to a brand. Now, all of this is going to be for not if you don't utilize it. If you don't go in and say, how can I improve on my click through rate? How can I see, you know, and utilize this unique viewer count guys, it's not going to help you. But if you go in, if you dig into the weeds, a lot of times creators are afraid to go into their analytics because they're like, I don't want to see it's ugly. I don't want to see my watch time. I don't want to see this. How are you ever going to improve if you're not making that, you know, evident to yourself what you need to do to be better? So hopefully you got some value out of this. I know I will be diving into these metrics as soon as they are released to, I have them on my, my other channel, but I want to get them on some of my smaller channels to see how I can uh, help booster some smaller channels. Thank you guys as always for listening until next week. Talk to you later.